Hi, this is Indu, assistant professor, Department of Data Science from IIR College, Hyderabad. Now, I'm going to explain about the Python programming language. So today I'm going to explain you about the brief history of Python. What is Python and the futures of Python and what are the advantages of the Python and also how to run the Python program. The basics what are going on here, I can explain with the today's session. Now I'm going with the brief history of Python. This Python was created by Gurio van Rosum from Netherlands and first released in 1991. It is a descent of ABC language. So it's a distributed and it is also the known as of from the ABC language. It is the Python is also open source from the beginning and managed by Python Software Foundation. This Python language is also managed by the Python Software Foundation. And it is also a ABC language, descendant of ABC language. And coming to the Python programming language, it is a scalable, object-oriented, and functional from the beginning. From the beginning, the Python program is a scalable, object-oriented as well as the functional programming language. Coming to the Python versions, what we had seen from the earlier uh, when the Gurio Van Rosum was created. Uh, now the first version was created in the year of 1991 February. The version was 0.9.0. .0. Next, coming to the version of 1.0 in January 1994. Next, coming to the version 2, version 2.0 in 2000, in the year of 2000 of October month. Next, coming to the version 3.0 in the year 2008. Now, the present version, what we are using is 3.9 and someone is also using the version of 3.6. Uh, so, uh, by when the Gurio Van Rosen was created from that 1991, uh, up to here, the how many versions we had seen? See, version 0 0.9.0, version 1.0, version 2.0, as well as 3.0. Now, the present version is also the version of 3.9. This is about the beef history of Python. Next, here we can see the pick of Gurio van Rossum uh, and Python was conceptualized by the Gurio van Rossum from the Netherlands in 1980s. He published the first version of Python code, what we had explained uh, before, 0 0.9.0 in 1991 at the CWI. CWI full form was Centrum Vicanti and Informatica in Netherlands, Astrid was in Netherlands from the Astrid. So the Gurio Van Rosen was created uh, in 1980s. Why this language already created in 1980s from that 1980s, why that uh, language was uh, not came uh, to the point uh, where the users can use from 2000 up to 1982. 2000, uh, this language was not uh, used by the people, uh, most not used by the uh, programmers mostly. Why? Because um, low, less people know about this Python. From uh, low amount of uh, data can be used in this Python language. From the year of 2000 to 2022, lack of people are using this Python language. So that's why more amount of data, whatever the data uses is also very lag, lack. So that's why this Python language came uh, very much uh, uh, familiar in these years from 20, 2000 to 2022. These years, the Python language was very familiar with us. Next, what are the outcomes the student can enable to see from these codes uh, is acquiring the programming skills in core Python as well as understand the basic concepts of the Python program. By uh, learning, this, uh, learning this section, by observing this session, the uh, student can unlock programming skills in Python as well as the basic concepts. What are the basic concepts we are going to study in the Python? These two things are the outcomes from the codes of this Python programming language. Next, 
now i'm going to explain what is python so here we can see that python is a general purpose language as well as high level language as well as interpreted programming language so i can explain the one by one here itself general purpose anyone can use this python uh, anyone can know it's a general purpose language uh, in english also english language also it is coming it's also the high level language as well as the interpreted language interpreted means it can be explained line by line process wherever the uh, we can see that interpretation and the compile uh, compilers uh, what's the difference between the interpretation and compilers means interpretation the ex python program can be executed line by line process how the interpretation language python program is executing line by line process yeah we can see what is the uh, best use of using this python language means this python language can be executed or coded by line by line process while compared to the other language it can be coding in the uh, compiler compiling way here the entire code will be execute at a time okay now i i had shown you the difference between the interpretation and compil, uh, compiler also so this is the difference so by using this python we can see that interpretation interpreted language it's also the interpreted programming high level language so it can be executed in the line by line process and it is also the object oriented program object oriented programming language which is which has easy syntax and dynamic semantics we can see that syntax is also in easy way and also in the dynamic way so next coming to the next point python is much easier than other programming languages and helps us to create beautiful applications with less efforts and much more easy see here easier easier than other programming languages python is very easier than other programming languages and it also helps us to create beautiful applications it also helps us to create beautiful applications with less efforts with less efforts and much more easy so here we are having it is easier easier language and we are giving a less effort to that and we are having more easy language when compared to the other languages while well, uh, c c++ java while we are comparing with the other languages this is a very easy language and also the beautiful applications can be created with the less efforts next coming to the next point python supports multiple programming patterns it also supports the multiple programming patterns and including object oriented as well as imperative and functional or procedural programming styles so why i am saying this multiple programming patterns means it also supports not only uh, single program patterns it also supports the object oriented as well as the imperative and functional programming styles also and also the procedural programming styles also can be supported by the python here i can i can know that you are going to understand what is python next coming to the futures of python so i early explained that one futures of python what are the futures simple and easy to code so here i am i am coding that two simple as well as easy to code so here i am explaining see, python is a very high level programming language even though it is very high level programming language even though it's a high level programming language anyone can learn to code in python in just a few hours or a few days uh, uh, who are going to read a basic python languages or if he is a beginner or she is a beginner they can is learn easy this python language within a few hours or else if they are unable to learn means they can take more few days also to learn the python languages so it is the main important thing mastering python and all its advanced concepts packages and modules might take some more time uh, for 
learning the basics and basic concepts what are there in the python we can learn in few days or else few hours next coming to mastering in python uh, advanced concepts packages modules it may take some more time it may take some more long time however learning basic python syntax is very very easy as compared to the other programming languages like c c++ and java it's very easy which is very easy python is very easy when compared to c c++ and java okay that's why i'm saying that python is a simple and easy coding language now coming to the second point free and open source also python is free and open source we need not to pay any amount for that one for learning and for uh, um, coding the values it is completely free to use here you can see this it is completely free to use even for commercial purpose also even for the commercial purpose also not only for uh, house uses and all these things it is oh, yeah, even for the commercial purpose also this python is free to use it does not cost anything to download python or to include in it in your application it does not cost anything and it can be freely modified or redistributed we can redistribute it also it is freely modified also it is not only uh, it is uh, getting us as a free and it, it we can also modify this one as usually we can redistribute this python application python also okay uh, this is about the free and open source of python next coming to the third point it is very high level language earlier i explained that one it is high level language and also the interpreted also i told you so in python no need to take care about low level details i am uh, low level details such as managing the memory used by the program uh, someone is uh, thinking that a uh, lot of memory is uh, storing in this uh, um, cutting off in by using this python like that some people will think like that no need of uh, worry about that one it will take um, no, no managing the memory also will be comes under this python or python program only it take as usually and coming to this is about the high level python programming it we can take care about the low level details also okay next coming to the fourth point it is interpreted interpreted means python code are compiled line by line which makes debugging errors much easier and efficient debugging errors means if there is an any error in my code or else in my program any error is there means i can identify that error where the error is in the in which line my error is coming and uh, it shows as error as in the sixth line sixth line user defined error is there like that it is showing me uh, show not for everyone me error as um, so we can compare our and also we can identify where the error is coming and we can debug the errors most easier and most efficient while comparing with the other languages so i am saying that futures of the python these are the uh, more any other more futures also there in the python these are the main futures what we are uh, seeing in our python programming and many other also there it's coming to the fifth one it is also a platform independent language okay python is also a platform independent language python programs can be developed and executed on the multiple operating system platforms like windows linux etc so these python programs can be executed in multiple operating systems not only in the one operating system it is executing it can be used used by the multiple platforms like windows mm -hmm. linux etc so this is all we, so we can say this one as a platform independent language next coming to the next point it is also a dynamic and semantic dynamic i already told you before dynamic also python programming language is also a dynamic language so if you are an old scholar school coder you would know that before using anything you need to initialize it it does all of this dynamically while i am in um, 
uploading or else i am downloading the python ideally or something python uh, i i need note of initializing everything in that one it automatically initializes what are the uh, uh, with the python only so we can say that it is a dynamic and semantic also next coming to that expressive the next point is expressive python needs to use only few lines of code to perform complex tasks here one of the main future in this python and one of the best future in this python is python needs to use only few lines only few lines if you are writing only few lines of code then we can get the uh, answers also or else we need not of taking any complex ta complex task while comparing with the other languages uh, for example to display the hello world to display the hello world we simply need to type only one line print hello i'll show you in the example next coming um, slide okay we simply need to write the print hello world that's it the program will display the output will uh, shows as a print hello world now the output which comes as a hello world okay other languages like java or c would take up multiple lines to execute this if you are writing in the other languages it can be take more time multiple lines also while comparing with the python we can write only in the one line which i showed here print hello world then i will get the output as hello world okay so i can say this is a, a expressive language okay next coming to the next point it is portable also portable in the sense the same code can be used on different machines okay see here the difference is the same code can be used in different machine suppose you are writing a python code in a mac okay if you are writing a python code on a mac if you want to run it if you want to run it on the windows linux linux letter you don't have to make any changes you no need of making any changes to that code you can write in the same way where suppose you are writing a python program on mac you have to run it on the windows also as well as on the linux also okay now you, so you don't no need of uh, writing any changes or else you again we have to write in some other languages but not in python uh, we can write as uh, as usual in the same what we had writing the earlier so this is the put so i can say this one as a portable language okay now python is also a portable programming language so these are the main features what we can see in the python language next working with python so how to install the python and how we are working with the python now i'm going to explain you install the python by downloading the python installation file we, you can see the url here what are the url here or double click on the installation file and start installation choose a drive where we want to install the python so we uh, or else we can go to google and uh, there we can type in download python ideally or else 3.9 like that we you can give means it can down we can download in a drive what we where we are going to install at as usually in this here also what are the url i am showing here www.python.org here also we can download the python next see in the next step next step iterative mode open ideally id if we want to run python instantly then try python function calls on iterative mode if we want to run the python code instantly or else i already told you iterative iterative mode one line if you are going if you, i am willing to write only the code in the one line and i need to execute the code within the line only then i'll get the answer in one line only then i use of going the iterative mode okay so now i'll show you one example also later next here i already downloaded and i kept that uh, screen with you ideally pi shell of 3.10.0 here you can type anything whatever you need you need a equal to
5 and check b equal to 3. Now go with print a plus b. Okay, then uh, when I run the code, here we can see what is a plus b. When I run the code, I'll get the answer as a plus b h. Here I can get the answer running by running the code, I can get the answer as h. So I can explain you in the next slide. So and we can work with a CMD also command prompt also by using this command prompt also we can execute the Python programs. See here uh, I had kept a slide with you and uh, uh, by taking this command prompt also py py mm, if you type py or else here you where it, py is typed here you there you can type python whatever it may be either python or py you can see the python you can run the python programs in command prompt also um, yeah so coming to working with python this i explained you in the before slide only interactive mode about the interactive mode so the brief discussion about the interactive mode is as we enter a command and press enter if we enter a command or any word hello world and i press enter the very next step we get the output the next step only we get the output the output of the code is iterative mode is influenced by the last command what we have given what are the last what is the last command i had given is the uh, the command what is executing it also execute a single line single line command also executed in the iterative statement iterative mode statement this mode is very suitable for the beginners now i, I told you in first also the while we are learning the python as a beginner it is very useful for you to read in iterative mode okay programming as it helps them evaluate their code line by line process yeah the code can be written in the line by line process and understand the execution of the code very well here we can ex understand the execution of the code also very well mm -hmm. so the brief is uh, we can write a command and then next very uh, if we press enter the very next step we get the output why because it is using single line if we are executing also execute a single line statement in the iterative mode uh, and this python is also executes in a line by line process so coming to the next script mode it is very suitable for writing long piece of code and that means multiple lines of statements multiple lines of statements can be executed and the code was running in the script mode okay okay it is much preferred over iterative mode by experts in the program this uh, much more preferred by the experts who are uh, writing a multi lines in the code they can be using they are using this script mode the file made in the script mode is by default saved in the python installation folder and extension of the file have to be saved as dot python okay now if you are saving a file if i am giving a uh, if i am writing a hello world program uh, now i am saving my file as hi okay i'm i'm going to give my file name as hi how i have to give hi dot py so this file was going to save in folder where i am going to save this folder okay now i thought you you are all understand this about the iterative mode and also the python mode the main difference of this iterative mode and script mode is uh, sorry script mode iterative mode can execute in line by line process okay coming to the script mode it can be using the multiple statements at a time it can code the uh, here we can write also the multiple statements at a time and we can uh, save the file as dot py okay we can save the file and then we can run the code by using dot py we can save the file next these are this is a reference book i 
used in this uh, by expl- for explaining this and for gathering all this information i learned that book of ashwant kanitkar uh, it was published on 1st january 2019 and ashwant kanitkar as well as aditya kanitkar has written this books so and whatever i explain i am going to show you in now i'll explain it ideally also what i told you in the earlier so here i am going to write the code how we are going to run the code uh, here you can see if i am taking the a as a equal to 6 and sorry we can write it the new file we will give with the new file and we can write there a equal to some number and b equal to and if i we can take 5 now i need to print a plus b so how can i save the file what i had written here i'll go to save next in the, on the desktop i'm going to save i'm saving my file as add i am doing the addition program so down you are showing that add dot py yes i am going to save it add dot py okay already it's there yes now i am going to run the program my file is already saved i am going to run the program now i got the answer as 12 yeah i had given a value is what are the values i had given here a value is 7 and b value is 5 okay the very next step i am going to take as multiplic uh, minus also that means subtraction also we can do here a minus b again i am saving my file then run the code yeah what's the answer came there two yeah seven minus five is two okay now i'm also taking a into b again i have to say yeah what 7 into 5 7 is a 35 here we are seeing that addition multiplication as well as subtraction also now we can see another one Again, a by five. Yeah. Now the answer is one point four. Like this, we can uh, for the basic. Uh, these are the basics of the programming. Uh, if any beginners are learning this uh, Python language, this is the right step and correct step to learn the programming here. And uh, what i explained earlier i already shown to you uh, this slide also in before a equal to 5 and b equal to whatever it may be b 8 now i'm going to print a only a value only a value i am going to print oh, it's came or not 5 yeah 5 is the right answer if i need to if i am going to print a a plus b yeah 5 plus 8 13 yeah i am getting i got the correct answers this is the two ways you can uh, do your programs either in the command prompt or also in the idle so these are the 
basic programming uh, python programming languages what i am going to write what i thought of explaining you uh, we ca you can exp uh, you can do a programming in ideally also as well as in um, some other uh, command prompts also uh, what i explained uh, to you is the topics covered is a brief history of python as well as the futures of python and um, working with python as well as what we had seen the what is python and what is the difference between iterative mode and also the script mode and uh, how to write a code or else how to run a program in the ideally mode as well as the command prompt you can uh, you can learn from this and this is about the brief this discussion and also the uh, basics of python programming language i hope you all can understand thank you thank you very much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates